guys. I'm doing two videos in one day today because, I don't know, I feel like it. These are the top 12 ways that drivers bother the heck out of me, okay? Number 12. Drivers who wave me through a four-way stop even though it's clearly their turn. Like, I get wanting to be polite, but let's just all follow the rules. It's so much simpler. Number 11. People who take my parking spot. Like, when you're going the, you know, you're not at quite the right angle, so you go around one more time to get that spot, but then somebody just took it. I put it at number 11 because maybe it was an accident, but maybe it wasn't. Number 10. That driver who slows way down to go over train tracks that are honestly not that bad. And I live where there are lots of train tracks, so this really annoys me, especially the one that's right near the, um, the traffic light. Because if you don't get through it, you're stuck because the light's going to turn red again. If the drivers in front of you can't go fast enough over the tracks, it's really, really annoying, okay? Number nine. Three words. Compact car only. Number eight. People who will honk at the driver in front of them if they don't take off like a shot when the light turns green. Seriously. Relax. Number seven, people who pass me and then slow down. Can I get an amen? Six, a driver who will zoom to pass me half a block before a red light. We'll be sitting there side by side and I just, I so badly want to look over there and be like, was it worth it? Number five, that person who will sit and wait for a parking spot to open up even though there's someone behind them and they're blocking the only way through. I hate that. I hate that so much. Number four, People who try to cut over at the last minute when they knew two blocks ago that their lane was going to end. Some people will be nice and stop and wave them in. No, I won't. I will. I might. I may or may not get right up next to the bumper of the guy in front of me just so that that the other guy can't get in. This is why I don't have any Christian stuff on my car. Number three. People who don't signal. Come on. Seriously. It's so easy, and it makes everybody's life so much better. Just use your turn signals. Now we're getting serious, okay? Number two is people who don't give motorcycles, buggies, cyclists, and pedestrians enough room. Share the road. I, I don't care where you're going. It's not important enough to zoom right by too close to somebody who's got just as much right to use the road as you do, okay? And number one is distracted slash drunk driving. And distracted means you're on your phone. Like, I don't care if you're talking on your phone, because to me that just seems like the same thing as talking to the person beside you. But if you're texting or Facebooking or, you know, any of that while you're driving, even messing with your GPS. Some people do that. Pull over, okay? It's so not worth the risk. And you might think you're a really good driver and you, you know everything that's up ahead of you. But if a car pulls out of that blind driveway and you're looking at your phone, that's your fault. You just hit someone's mom, someone's dad, someone's kids. You could kill a child because you were texting. And never worth it, never cool. Not to mention you're being reckless with your life. I actually believe it's a sin to text while driving. Because God gave you one life. God gave us all one life. And if you are reckless on purpose with that gift, I really think it breaks his heart. So think about that. Tell me if you agree, if you disagree, if you want to throw some scripture up that either supports or doesn't, um, feel free. I'm all for discussion. Stay tuned if you want to see my cute little short parody of Do You Want to Build a Snowman? I know they're all over YouTube right now, but a co-worker friend of mine asked another if he wanted to split a donut, and it was just in my head throughout my entire next hour massage, so I put this little thing together and shot it in my car, which is a mess. Don't judge me. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. 
do you want to split a donut? They're in the break room on the cart. Cause I've had one all today already. And they're less calories if we split one apart. Cause I know that it's a moment on the lips. A lifetime on the hips. Do you want to split a donut? I bet this spoon will make a clean cut. Okay, I I promise I'll go to the gym later. <laughs>